Hi there. Today I want to show you how to make a strip patchwork pot holder. The idea behind this is that you actually quilt as you go. You don't stitch your pieces together to each other and then put them on. You stitch them right on to your backing. I'm going to show you how I do that. What I've got here is five pieces. So what I'm going to do is take the center one and I'm going to put it right in the middle. If you want to, you can fold that in half and make sure you've got the center and fold that in half. Um, but I'm just going to eyeball it because I've done so many of them. So I just lay that here and then I'm going to take my next piece and put it face down on top of that piece. I need a couple of pins on this, top and bottom. So once you have it on here, you can make sure that this is the right measurement. I've got three inches there and I've got three inches there. So that is nice and perfect. So what I'm going to do is just start at the top of that and give myself a quarter inch seam. You can see it went off a little bit. No biggie. We'll just cut it. It's going to end up inside the binding. So now I'm going to open that up. Make sure it's open. And you can go over and press it at this point, but I just am going to kind of finger press it down. And then put that on. And again, my pins, but this time I'm going to do three instead of just the two. All right, so now I'm going to go ahead and stitch this one just like I did the other. I do not ever run over my pins, ever, ever, ever. Seems like any time I've tried it, I end up breaking one. It's just not even worth it. So I'm just trimming as I go here. So now you can see this is just almost all the way up to the edge, but that's going to be covered by the binding. So that side's ready. So now turn it over, and I'm going to do the same thing on these last two pieces. I have all these ready now. These are a little wider because they didn't have a seam taken off of each side, but that is okay because they're going to have this backing. So the backing is actually, let's see, I'm pretty sure it's two inches longer. So, um, that means it has one inch all the way around the outside. So what I do is I fold that in and then into there and then stitch. Now you can either try to do a mitered corner up here by going like this, oops, put that underneath there, and then fold in and in. Or it's actually easier, I think, to just do uh, straight. So you're going to just stitch along here and then when you get up here, and you want to finger press to make sure it's nice and flat. And then you're going to pull in one again and then the other. And then you'll just have it straight there if you can see that. So it's straight right there. And then it just goes up to here. The only thing is you want to make sure it doesn't like go out to the side there. You just kind of have to fold it in nice and tight. And so then that will go up here. So you can see that's going to make a really nice edge. And then that is all there is to it. You don't need to do any other quilting. You can if you want. I've seen some people do an X from one corner to the other or a couple of lines diagonal on each side. You can do that, but I've just never had any problem with it staying put because it's such a small area. And I've got one right here that is more in process so you can see how that trim looks on there. And then this one actually had an even larger three inches. So the edge, instead of just being a smaller edge like that, okay, it's, it's bigger. It's just a wider edge on it, and that looks nice too. So if you want a wider edge, then do it three inches bigger than the size of your pot holder. And if you want it smaller, just kind of a little trim, you know, thin one, then um, just do it two inches larger. And I see here uh, something that I started doing later is I sewed down that edge. That just makes it easier to work with this and you don't have as much to control at the time that you're folding everything in together. I have made many, many of these and they are just really fun to make. It's really fun to pull together different fabrics. 
I've got a bunch right here. So anyway, so you can just put all different things together. They just need to coordinate, obviously. Anyway, just a fun, quick little project. You can make them for friends, for stocking stuffers, to go with other gifts. Um, I do a gift in a jar that I'll be showing you in a different video, and I like to put these down inside the jar. So there's just lots of uses for them and nice, easy, quick to make. So thanks for watching.